Hello, internet and filmmakers of the world. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can shoot all day on one battery. One of the biggest problems with DSLRs and mirrorless cameras is that the battery life is so short when you're shooting video. Now, these tiny little Sony batteries are great because they keep the camera small and compact and the form factor of it just nice and sleek, but they don't last more than maybe 40 minutes to an hour max in my experience when you're shooting video. Instead of buying a dozen of these little batteries and switching them out all day long and worrying that it's gonna die on you mid-take, you can just get one very, very big battery. This is where V-mount batteries come in. They are an industry standard in larger productions and in broadcast, but for many new and indie filmmakers, they're not a go-to solution just yet. V-mount batteries come in all different sizes and depending on the battery you get and what milliwatt hours it has, it can easily last you for an all day shoot up to eight hours. I've come home from many shoots with 50 to 75% of my battery life left. V-mount batteries are heavy, so there are definitely times when it's gonna be practical to use them and other times when it's gonna be completely impractical. For instance, if you know you're gonna be shooting on a tripod or maybe using a shoulder rig, that's a good opportunity to use the V-mount batteries. But let's say that you're gonna be shooting a wedding all day and maybe you're gonna be doing handheld or a monopod, it's not gonna work well and you're gonna end up having some serious back issues and be hurt in the next day if you're using these huge batteries all day long. Also, V-mount batteries are not gonna work at all on your smaller handheld gimbal, so don't even bother with that. Some other times that you're less likely to grab the V-mount batteries is if you're traveling and you're trying to pack really light, or maybe you're running and gunning and you're trying to keep like a low profile out in public. This isn't gonna work well for you because the rig usually that you have is huge and draws a lot of attention. Also, there's no way that you can vlog with this kind of setup unless you're like the buff nerd and you can just hold that thing out in front of you and you've got huge muscles. You're just not gonna last. To get your camera all set up with V-mount batteries, you're gonna need a couple things, some of which you probably already own. First off, you need a rig that uses 15 millimeter rods. Next, you need a V-mount lock base plate. This will actually allow you to lock your battery onto your rig. Next, you're gonna need a dummy battery that works with your camera. Once you've popped it into the battery compartment and ran the wire out, you're gonna plug it into the 12 volt port on the side of your V-mount lock base plate. Now make sure that you plug it into the right port because if you give it too much power or too little, in the worst case scenario, you could actually fry your camera. You can also use V-mount batteries to power more things than just your camera, like all your different accessories like your monitor, audio recorder, and things like that because it just has so many different ports on the locking base plate. You have like your standard USB, 12 volt, five volt, and even the standard D-tap as well. So it's awesome for powering all different things on your rig. I'd also recommend getting a V-mount battery with a little LED indicator light on it so you can know how much battery power you actually have left because your camera is not gonna give you an accurate reading of how much battery power you actually have left. If you plan on flying with V-mount batteries, don't bring in anything over 100 watt hours because that's currently the largest size you can bring in the cabin of an airplane. There are some exceptions for larger batteries, but it requires airline approval beforehand. So just play it safe and research the airline that you're gonna fly on to make sure that you're following all of their guidelines. I've linked all the official FAA rules below so you can check those out yourself. Keep in mind these are high capacity batteries and they take a long time to recharge. Don't plan on charging these things back up over lunch break and getting back to shooting. Instead, just plan on charging them up overnight. Another tip is that when you're using this larger setup with a slider, be sure to weigh down your tripod with a sandbag because you do not want this thing to tip over in the middle of a slide. That would just be a tragic and sad, sad death of your camera. There are a lot of pros and cons to using V-mount batteries, but in my opinion, they're definitely worth having as part of your kit, especially for those longer days where you just don't wanna worry about battery life. Or maybe you just wanna look a little bit more professional on set. They're definitely worth checking out. Guys, if you wanna learn how to light and shoot better videos, hit subscribe right now. I have so many more videos coming out on shooting, editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.